Shuck it a dough. Shuck it a dough. Shuck it a dough. Tommy approached me about doing these songs sometime last year. They sounded really cool, they sounded different. Um, a lot of overtones from uh, mid to late 90s, or early, even early 90s, you know, heavy music, a lot of, a lot of grunge references. <laughs> It's uh, it's really no different. I mean, it's still. I just want to play what's basically going to make the song um, as good as possible, you know. So it tends to be very straightforward, simplistic stuff. Um, but you know, back to the point. That's that's why I play music, just to to make sure that the song itself um, really stands out. Uh, and I don't care for my ego to get in the way of any of that. <laughs> Pretty sure Tommy's the same, you know, wired the same. It's just write cool songs, play the instruments that need to be played on it. Glancing blow yeah. with an erect <laughs> position. <laughs> Tommy and I met decades ago <laughs> uh, when we were both coming up in around Charlotte um, playing playing aggressive music. And Tommy was playing with some bands or with a band uh, that we palled around with a lot. I believe I, this was Prayer for Cleansing. Um, so we were playing um, with a, an older prayer lineup that didn't include Tommy. He was singing with a band um, that we all dug and played a lot of shows with, and then he got involved with Prayer for Cleansing, um, playing guitar. You know, I gravitate towards that part of his personality a lot because uh, it's a similar similar to the way I approach music. I want to play a little bit of everything. Um, I might not be fantastically great at one particular thing, but uh, there's a lot that I would like to do. Um, so it's always been cool playing with Tommy and. and relating to each other on that point. but um, just really formative years slaving away at jobs that we all hated and um, playing a lot, you know, practicing as much as we could and starting, starting to take it seriously, you know. Um, and I, you know, I'm still just fascinated and, and feel really proud that Between the Buried Me has become what it has and it hasn't lost any integrity or um, or any of the really cool parts of that band that have been around since the beginning. You know, just this general mentality of, of putting the music first and not taking a whole lot else way too seriously. You know? 